It is time to do our first stop and jot for Module 7. Don't forget to grab your Module 7 handout. Let's start by making sure that we have a firm definition of fluency. Fluency is the ability to read text at an appropriate rate with accuracy and prosody. This definition spotlights the three key indicators or aspects of fluency that have to be developed and work together to help students read for deep comprehension. Accuracy, rate, and prosody. Accuracy refers to error-free reading of the text. In order for students to read with a high level of accuracy, they must understand the alphabetic principle, be able to blend sounds into words, and know appropriate high-frequency words. Rate often is equated to the number of words a student can read per minute, but in reading connected text, it generally means being able to read the text at a conversational pace. The term automaticity is often used in place of rate, but really, it is a combination of accuracy and rate, as fluent readers are able to read and or analyze words, almost automatically resulting in rapid, accurate reading. The third aspect of fluency, and the one most often not taught as explicitly as the other two, is prosody. Prosody relates to reading with expression, which includes such things as proper intonation, volume, pitch, pausing, and phrasing. Our goal is to develop readers that read text with reasonable accuracy at an appropriate rate and with suitable prosody that supports a deep understanding of the text. We briefly walked through a fluency continuum where we solidified the fact that fluency development begins when students can read connected text. Accuracy, automaticity, prosody, as prosody cannot come into play until meaning is attached. However, development in accuracy and automaticity can begin earlier, earlier instruction, accuracy, automaticity, through instruction aimed at picture or object naming, letter naming and sound production, and reading simple words. Once students are reading connected texts, it is important that the right texts are selected for fluency development. Text selection. Earliest stages of text fluency should focus on simple, predictable texts, such as nursery rhymes, songs, and student-written texts, then move into decodable and grade-level texts. And as students evolve into fluent readers to more complex texts, connected to skills and topics of study, and then to a variety of genres and interest, the lesson on fluency defined concluded with a section titled, Practice Makes Perfect, and it reiterated the fact that reading fluency is developed in the same way as most any other skill or craft, through intentional and proven practice. Fluency practice that begins with someone modeling what fluent reading looks and sounds like, followed by assisted reading practice, and lots of independent wide reading by the student. This fluency practice occurs when teachers incorporate instructional techniques and strategies that promote fluency development into their instructional program. Four key practices that should be included in fluency instruction are explicit modeling, so students can hear what fluent reading sounds like, systematic instruction with scaffolded reading assistance, wide repeated reading providing lots of reading practice, and corrective feedback that improves the immediate reading. These techniques were all integrated into the assisted reading strategies that were shared, choral reading, echo reading, paired reading, and technology reading. The last big concept I hope you walk away with relates to how all of this connects to the science of reading research we are learning about, specifically four reading models. The simple view of reading and Scarborough's reading rope both emphasize two critical domains of reading comprehension, word recognition and language comprehension. Fluency is the bridge that connects these two domains. On one end, fluency connects with word recognition, as this should occur with accuracy and automaticity, on the other end, prosodic language integrates with the language comprehension components that builds meaning. Fluency occurs when a reader bridges or connects the execution and integration of their word recognition and language comprehension skills at the speed of spoken language. The four-part processor model and the active view of reading model both reiterate this working together and bridging notion of fluency. That wraps up what we have covered so far in our study of fluency. Before moving on, be sure to take a moment to think about these big ideas and how they might relate to your classroom instruction.